This is the Hi-Fi Walker H20 Pro, and it is all about the music. You might be asking yourself, does the Hi-Fi Walker H20 Pro support Spotify, Deezer, Tidal, Pandora, Apple Music, YouTube Music, Prime Music, anybody at all? And the answer is mm, not exactly. The H20 Pro is focused on locally stored music. It comes with a 64 gigabyte card, but it will accept anything up to 512 gigabyte. You do have other options. You can stream anything you like over Bluetooth and listen to it on headphones plugged into the H20 Pro. You can also use the H20 Pro as an external DAC for your PC through a USB-C cable. Prominently displayed on this side, we have a beautiful, very clicky, very satisfying volume knob. Beneath that is a power button, the power indicator, next track, play pause, previous track, and your TF card slot. At the bottom of the H20 Pro, we have a USB-C port. This port is used for an external DAC, data transfer, or simply as a charging port. Next to that is a three and a half millimeter port. This is used for your headphone jack or simply line out. And finally is a four millimeter balanced output jack. I make no assumptions about who might be watching this review. If you don't know the difference between a standard headphone jack and a balanced output headphone jack, that's fine. I'm still learning myself. A standard headphone jack has a, a few differences, but it's mostly this. There are three wires, left, right, and a shared ground. A balanced output jack has four wires. They do not share a ground. It also carries more power, but really it's the independent circuitry that's the biggest difference. You can also see a difference in the headphone plugs themselves. This is a standard headphone plug. As you can see, it has three segments. This is a balanced headphone plug. It has four segments and is slightly larger. This is the only music player I've been able to try that actually supports my balanced headphones. I've always had to use an adapter, so I was delighted. Does it make a difference? I suppose that depends upon your ears and your expectations. All I can say is that it works and I like it. Whenever I get a new device with a proprietary interface, I often think, this doesn't make any sense. How do I get from here to there? This feature is missing, things like that. But let me just give this a few minutes. Read the manual if you have to, or just play with it. I bet that whatever feature you want is in here. It just might not be the default. At least that was true in my case. Every feature, every behavior that I wanted it to do differently, it could do. I just needed to change the default. What format does this support? Uh, everything. Just everything. Don't even worry about it. It has everything. I don't know if you can see this tiny text, but at the top of the H20 Pro is a status bar. It shows you the current volume level. You can see it going up and down there. There is, well, there's the, the yellow bar, but there's also a numeric representation. Then there's BAL for balanced. I'm using balanced headphones. The status is playing. You can see a Wi-Fi symbol there. It is connected to my Wi-Fi. There could also be a Bluetooth symbol there, but I don't have it connected to Bluetooth at the moment. And then we have the current time and H for high power and a battery level indicator. If you ever get to a screen where you can't figure out how to get to the previous or next menu, just try swiping. This is also a little bit unusual, but I like the feature. If you press this arrow going up, it will bring you to the top of your track list. If you press this arrow pointed to the right, it brings you to the currently playing track. There's a context menu for each track if you press the arrow to the right. You can add it to a playlist, delete the track, or get more information about the track. When you add new music to the H20 Pro, it automatically catalogs them by artist, album, or genre, and you can easily switch between them. If your metadata contains lyrics, you can have them displayed by simply tapping the album cover, but I don't have any lyrics in my metadata. Another powerful feature is the MSEB menu. To access it, you simply click this grid looking thing and you can shape the music to whatever sound you want. 
It also has an equalizer. You can access it through this triple dot context menu. There are various preset equalizer settings available, or you can make your own custom preset for whatever you want. One of the questions I often get asked is what languages does this device support? The H20 supports English, German, Spanish, Italian, French. I think that's it. One of the things that really irritates me about devices is when the screen shuts off to save power, it also disables the buttons. And if you want to make minor changes to the volume or put a track on pause or go to the next track or whatever you're trying to do, it's a multiple step process because first you have to wake the device up and then do whatever you were going to do in the first place. And yes, that is the default behavior for the H20 Pro, but you can change it. And I did, and it made me so happy. After I became familiar with the H20 Pro, I started to become concerned because I really enjoy it and I didn't want the screen to be scratched. And I thought they should really include a screen protector, but there's nothing in the box. The screen protector is already applied. And in fact, I, I have a, a scratch on the screen protector. I don't think you can see it, but it's there. Um, so now what I'm asking for are replacement screen protectors. And I, I haven't investigated if those are available or not. But thank you, Hi-Fi Walker, for including a screen protector on the front and the back too. There is so much to tell you about this device and I feel like I'm forgetting it all. The manufacturer recommends using a five volt, one amp charger. You can expect it to take three hours to charge and give you a 10 hour playback. One thing that I thought was interesting is that you can plug an external hard drive or a thumb drive right into this USB-C port and pull tracks off of it. This does support the Hi Buy Music app for Wi-Fi transfers and whatever else that thing does. I just wasn't really interested in a companion app for a music player, but maybe you are and maybe that feature is one you're looking for. For playback modes, it has sequential play, single track repeat, playlist repeat, and my all-time favorite, don't need anything else, shuffle play. The most important feature that I'm looking for in a music player is the ability to load it up with FLAC format music and hit shuffle play and just enjoy endless bliss. Although I'm spoiled now, I'm also looking for balanced output. Features like gapless playback, fade in, fade out, I am not interested in these features, but they are there. If you want them, you can do it. Did I mention that the H20 Pro has dual ES9219 DAC chips? Did I mention that the H20 Pro supports DSD-256, 32-bit, 192 kilohertz formats? The H20 Pro eats lossless audio for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it has an aluminum alloy shell. There is one feature that doesn't quite make sense to me. The H20 is all about audio, personal audio, creating the best customized audio experience possible. And then there are eBooks. Why? Who wants to read an eBook on a device this small? That, that doesn't make any sense, but why? <laughs> when you have a device so perfectly tuned for a single purpose and then they throw in ebooks for what i mean you could it's a feature you could ignore so it's not that big of a deal but it just isn't in the spirit of the device seriously whatever you are looking for it's got to be here this is an amazing player i love it it's a five out of five thanks for stopping by Thank you.